Hello, I'm Stan Boney. Youngstown City Council's Finance Committee was this afternoon presented with a new program to beautify some of the city-owned vacant lots. It centers around homeowners living adjacent to the lots and provides a way for them to eventually own them. Mo to Own is our top story tonight at 10. On Youngstown's south side sits a well-kept house next to what appears to be a lot that recently became vacant. Under the city's new mode own adjacent lot disposition program, if the city owns the land, the homeowner could work towards buying it. We want people to take care of the properties so we don't have to constantly do it. Mike Durkin oversees Youngstown's code enforcement and demolitions, which includes mowing 6,000 vacant properties three times a year. That's a lot of cutting, you know, that we have to maintain. We're comfortable where it's at. Mayor Tito Brown this afternoon presented the mode own program to city council. Homeowners interested would pay a $190 application fee. Only city-owned properties could be bought, the price of which would be determined by the land's location and value. And homeowners would have to prove for one year that they can maintain it. That you're cutting the grass, that you're keeping the sidewalks clean in front of it, that if there's a hydrant in front, you got to keep the snow off the hydrant. After buying the land, if a homeowner fails to maintain it, it could be returned to the city. And a homeowner on one street cannot buy up an entire block of vacant lots, only those adjacent to their house. They their own uh, uh, residential development, so to speak, and that's not, that's not what this is about. This is about beautification of the areas. And It was decided to leave the legislation creating the mode own program and City Council's Finance Committee for now, but the plan is to pass it by the end of the year and have it ready to start the first of next year.